What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Oh my gosh. You guys, okay, can we talk about Laura Lee for a minute? Okay, let's start the video, girl. All right, so much drama. I had so much energy, but I just filmed like four videos, so I'm giving you what I can at this point, okay? Okay, guys, let me put this down. Drama, drama, drama. Laura Lee loves the match. Okay, our favorite country bumpkin. Okay, so check this out. So the other day, Laura Lee, po well, I think she posted a photo. I couldn't know, she has me blocked, girl. She still has me blocked to this day. After I gave her palette a decent review, still blocked. Anyways, girl, so she posted this photo on her, I think her cosmetic page, okay, her Instagram cosmetic page, leaking her new palette. Well, girl, are you ready, girl? I got a message, and I, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name, but I got a message from a subscriber, and it said, I said that the name of the palette, and Laura Lee blocked me. And I was like, girl, girl, welcome to the club, okay? He's not the only one blocked by Laura Lee. Join, everybody who's blocked by Laura Lee, come over here and let's hang out, girl. We'll have a little pity party. But anyway, so I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, girl, that is actually true. And then, now I didn't research this, I can care less. But the girl said that Laura Lee trademarked the name, okay, so, or something like that, I could be wrong. Girl, if I'm wrong, it won't be the first time, okay? So I was, so then I was like, well, if it's true, why would uh, Laura Lee block you the house? Hmm, you know, so maybe it is true. So this is what I don't understand about the beauty community. So Laura Lee's palette came out last year, okay? I bought it, some people bought it. I think it sold out in four days, three days. A lot of people were like, girl, you know, it was nudes and I wanted color. I want to see more color and people, you know, people were just going to complain just for the sake of complaining. Okay. Well, girl. So anyways, Miss Thing, Laura Lee, love her so much, leaked her palette. Well, I was shocked. And I think Trend Mood posted it too. Shady ass little Trend Mood girl. They posted it too. And I'm surprised the amount of just negative bashing comments that I feel kind of go overboard on Trend Mood's Instagram. Like, she doesn't, like, I understand, you know, she can't really do much, you know? I mean, like, there's gonna be probably really mean comments in this video. If it's really, really, really mean, I'll go in there and I'll delete the comments because it's like, girl, that's not even a joke. That's just boring, like being ugly. But I can't do it all. So sometimes, you know, there are comments that, slip through the cracks, girl, and they'll just say really mean, horrible things about people I talk about, you know, and I try to delete them, but I can't, I can't do it all, you know, and at the end of the day, those profiles have no face, they have no YouTube account, so it's just a troll, okay, or just somebody who's just really mad, like, I hate Laura Lee so much, I hate her, I hate her, you know, I'm just like, damn, what the hell she do to you, girl, damn, calm down. Well, anyways, on the damn trend mood Instagram, there are people just going in, and they're like, I'm not buying this, nope, nope, not bothered, not spending my coin, you tried it, Laura Lee, and I'm like, girls, I want to get in there and be like, girls, you haven't even seen what the palette looks like, and you're already throwing dust, stop. I'm like, damn, like, what hypocrites? Because if she shows the palette and it looks cute, y'all are going to go buy it. And you're the same ones who are sitting there, nope, nope, not buying it, nope, Laura Lee tried it, girl, nope, no, no. And I'm just like, girl, stop, give it a chance, okay? And I'm, I'm literally saying this, give Laura Lee a chance. She's trying, girl, she, she got her little makeup out, girl, okay? This is her new, what, what, I don't even know if it's a palette, girl, I don't know what the hell it is, girl. But whatever it is, give it a chance before you go and just knock it down the house, girl, okay? If I came out with makeup and it was trash, my second batch, give me a chance, okay? Like, to redeem myself at this point, okay? Like, seriously. That's just how I feel. Like, give, give, because you don't understand how much, like, hard work, not that I know, I don't know, but you don't know how much, like, work and time and money goes into making a brand, and so when you just trash it like that, like, give it a little respect. I mean, like, respect enough to be like, well, let me see it first. Nah, nah, still don't like it. Like, at least something, but at least give me that, well, let me see it. Bring it over here. Let me give you a little look. Oh, no, girl, I knew it, I knew it. Like, at least give it some time before you throw a little dust at it, girl, okay? Now, Kristen Dominique's palette, I know some people who bought it and they love it, girl. They, they don't even get to make YouTube videos, they bought the damn Kristen Dominique palette, they freaking love it the house, girl. So I kinda, and I think I was gonna buy the Kristen Dominique palette and I was gonna review it for you guys, but when I went to the website, it was sold out. 
So that's why you never saw a review for it. Cause I was like, well, girl, sold out. By the time I get it, nobody's gonna care about it. You know what I'm saying? And like, I, I like the idea of like, you know, everyone's excited to buy makeup. Like, I understand that. But if I go to the website and it's sold out, this is just me. And I wanna know if you're like that too. So Kristen Dominique's palette came out. By the time I went to the website to buy it, it was sold out. So that made me feel like, well, then I don't even want it. It's sold out. I don't want it. Cause by the time it comes back in stock and I buy it, people are already gonna make videos about it. You know, and I'm and people and the beauty community moves so quick with different things. It's like, well, I'm done. Like, I, I don't want to buy the restock. You know what I'm saying? Because by that time, people are gonna forget about it. And so I just I just don't want it. So that's what happened with the Chris and Dominique palette, which I wish I would have bought it when it first came out. But I'm not for the you know wait for the restock or I sold out. Like I just whatever, girl. Like when the Laura Lee palette came out, girl, I bought it at the house and it was there the next day and this third day. Like you had time to actually get it. Which, which I like about it. She, it wasn't like this fake, oh, sold out thing. You know, well, people say it was, but whatever, bro. It took her like three, four days to sell out, but at least she sold out, whatever. But anyways, I digress. But then it, but then it came back. Remember that it came back for Christmas time. What a coincidence, life's a mess. But anyways, so which didn't make me think, well, did it really get sold out? But then again, do I really care? No, because I already bought it, not bother. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. Like when stuff gets sold out like that really quickly, I just tend not to, I, I don't tend to come back to the website and buy because I feel like, okay, we kicked me out the first time, I'm not gonna come back and buy it the second time, right? So anyways, moving on. The story of this video was that Laura Lee's palette got leaked. People were already hating on it before it even damn came out the house. And above all else, above it all drama, uh, people were already throwing shade at it before it even damn came out. And I'm saying, give it a chance. Let me tell you, I freaking went to the store the other day. I think I went to Chanel. Let me show you what I buy. I've been like trying to get around to this forever but there's just so much drama going on so here's a little the little package that i got love is the match and i'm gonna open it up right here and it came in this little i can try to get it for you guys here it goes okay Girl, not bothered all right so it comes with this little chanel box okay love it so much and here's a little paper they wrapped it up in here okay here it goes all right so nothing in there so this is what i got i felt like this was such, I've been wanting this forever. Okay, so this is LeBlanc Serum. Now, if you don't know what LeBlanc is, it's by Chanel, and LeBlanc means like Blanco, like white, but I think it's like French or something. So this is a serum to help brighten up my dark circles or my blemishes that I have. And here is, oh, little package thing fell out, nothing in there. Okay, and so here's what it actually looks like right here. So this is LeBlanc by Chanel, and then here's the top part there, and I just like, can we like take some time to appreciate the design? Like it's simple, it's minimalistic, ah, it's clean design. I like it, I think it's really clean. Okay, I'll have makeup on it. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna try to so I can get it, there it goes. Okay, there it goes. All right, so it's like a clear, consistent thing. I'm just gonna rub it in there. Let me see what it smells like. Mmm, smells so freaking good, girl. It smells like sublimage with a little bit of Hydra Beauty Mist. Oh, Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I really can't wait to get into this and I can't wait to use this with the SK2 Essence or the Tatcha Essence because if you don't know, from what I was told, like you put like this essence over your face, it's like a, like a, almost like a water consistency and then, then whatever you put over that next, like whatever your lotion or cream, it just soaks into your skin deeper because the essence allows it to. So I can't wait to use it with that. And so, and then another thing, I went, I went live on YouTube, right? So I, anyways, this was like, I think $100 or something, but I can't wait to use it. And so we're gonna move on from that. So I went live on YouTube and we're talking about this right here. Okay, this is the cover effects. Okay, and it says right here, it says shimmering veil. And I have it on here, okay. Now I need your guys help because I have no freaking idea what the hell this is. Okay, I don't know if this is lipstick. I don't know if it's a topper, which I don't even know what a topper is. I don't know if it's eyeshadow. I don't know if it's highlighter. I don't know if it's lip gloss. And so I put some on here earlier, but I'm gonna show you here. Okay, look. Okay, you see that? And I dip it in there one time, because God forbid I pump it in there three, four, five times, I get all upset. Okay, and that's what it is. Okay, I don't know what this is. Now I put it here because I thought it was highlighter, but so many of y'all in the comments said that this was eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm shook the house. And it doesn't have like much, it doesn't have a scent to it. And this is it after it dried down. So I just put this one on there and it's just after having it for like about two hours. See that? So I don't know what it is. Somebody please let me know what the hell this is because I have no freaking idea 
what this is, and I want to like it, right? I think I got this in a Ipsy bag, and I was like, this is, I think, I think, either that or a boxy charm, one of the two, but I actually like it, so I kept it over here, and this is the first time I actually used it, but I don't think it's, I, the reason I don't think it's highlighter is because, you see this little dofa thing? Like, I've never seen a highlighter come with this, right? So when you put it on, it gave me this effect. This is why I think it's more of an eyeshadow, but then it also could be a lippy too. So I have no idea. And I really wish that this cover effects would tell me what it is. Like, cause all it said is shimmering veil. That's it. What, what, the, what the hell is a shimmering veil? Okay, cause to me, this is a veil. This is a veil and it's shimmery, but I'm not gonna sit here and wear it, girl. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm, at this point, I'm just like so confused the house. And then for my eyeshadow, like this pink under here, pink that I have under here, see that pink right there? I actually used this one, okay? And I was shook. And this is blush, girl. Look, remember this? I got it in my BoxyCharm box. Um, and I was shook that I was able to pull off this effect. Like the little pink up there at the top, girl. Like, wow. <gasps> I love the man. And then for the blue, I use ColourPop, which is this one right here. But a subscriber sent, sent me this one. And this is in the color Ibiza, and it's right here. So if you're the subscriber that sent me a whole bunch of ColourPop pots, thank you so much. I don't want you to seem like, well, I think I messaged you and said thank you because you put like your Instagram name in the letter. But I just want to say thank you in the video for these because I actually, I didn't think I would use it, but I fell in love with this blue. And I think there's like this orange one that I want to try out too. But we'll see how that goes. But anyways, guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have music on iTunes and merchandise down below. So check it out if you want. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I love you so much. I can't believe this is what my life has come, girls. Honey, 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 honey. Honey, 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 honey. Honey, honey, honey. honey. My conspiracy, my opinion, allegedly. Honey. Honey, 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 honey,